And my landlord, she was going to raise my rent. Not the news Gladabel Mejia wanted to hear during a pandemic. This mother of three says it was a $25 increase, but still. I told her we can't afford that. I don't have a job right now because I'm at home with the kids, homeschooling them. So it's very hard for me to get a job and then pay a babysitter. So it's too hard. So I told her you can't raise my rent. She said, well, you have to move. Mejia told her landlord she couldn't move because it would cost too much money. She says times are tight, surviving just off her husband's income. Especially here in Passaic, New Jersey, everything is like so expensive. A three bedroom is almost 1,800, sometimes 2,000. It's too expensive, so I told her no. More than 77% of Passaic City residents rent, according to U.S. Census data from 2019. Mayor Hector Laura says he was hearing stories of families giving up their apartments because some landlords were increasing rent by 20, 30, sometimes 40%. This in a city where the poverty rate is nearly three times the state's rate. You're either making a desperation move to recover funds that you've lost, and I would propose to you that it's not that family that you should be trying to get the money from. You make your appeal to government, you make your appeal to the banks, or you're trying to get them out. And if you're trying to get them out during a pandemic, considering the Nor'eastern that we just faced, then I'm not going to allow that as mayor. So the mayor put an executive order in place to freeze all rent starting January 1st. I understand that property owners are also facing hardship during this pandemic. My executive order incentivizes, it actually incentivizes those who are renting to pay their rent. It says if you pay your rent on time on a month by month basis, there is a 0% increase. However, if you cannot make the payment on time, there is a cap on how much you can increase the rent. 2%. My goal was to address the price gouging. It's good for everybody. They shouldn't be raising the rent because not everybody is working. But rent increases haven't been the only issue of 2021. Deputy Police Chief Louis Gentile says in January, people were coming in daily to get their cars after they were towed because of expired registrations for no fault of their own. They were coming frustrated. They would tell us that they tried to get appointments with motor vehicle. They would show us, they would show us the appointment. So you would see it's like three weeks away or two weeks away. Every day there's a storage fee. So if the storage fee per se is $70 per day, and now you know it's taking 20 days to get your car, that's $1,400 to get your car out. So the way it works is your car has to be registered and insured in order to get the car out. So now if you owe $1,400, what people were doing almost were walking away from the window saying, just keep my car. I can't afford that. That was an injustice. The deputy police chief took the issue up to the mayor who immediately put a towing freeze in place on January 29th. This doesn't uh, mean that you could just abandon your vehicle in the streets and not worry about it. If you haven't registered your vehicle in two years and it's out there, our police are going to use common sense. Mayor Laura intends to keep the rent and towing freezes in place 30 days after Governor Murphy lifts the state's rent moratorium. If these pandemic conditions continue, however, he'll make sure they stay in place until his residents are back on their feet again. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.